traders from across the globe and welcome to the 1,295th edition of Short Term Trading live with Oscar Carboni and that would be me. Good evening traders. This 1,295th video is coming at you on a Monday Night for Trading Tuesday. That is March 17th, 2015. Happy St. Patrick's Day for you who celebrate. Happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. We've got a green omni for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Traders, we know that futures trading is extremely risky. If you don't know this, you should. It is absolutely not, not, not suitable for all traders. You must know there's big risk in this game. Make sure you put your stops in. Always put your stops in first. They say stops don't always work, but I've never really met anyone that's had a horror story and told me their stop hasn't been executed. So until I run into that guy, I say stops do work. Put your stops in, always put them in first, and know that this is certainly the opinion of a 33-year veteran analyst and trader who grew up down on the trading floors and really understands the insides and outs of these markets. Let's get moving. So traders for Monday night for trading on Tuesday. Let's start off with this. Two in a row, two bad days in a row. We lost Friday. We lost Monday. Ooh, you know what happens, right? If I ever have three losing days in a row, I have to find some cruel and unusual punishment and kill myself in one of my videos. So I probably have six videos in the last seven years where I've actually had to kill myself. I've been hung and shot and stabbed and buildings have fell or fallen on my head. I've had mafia guys drag me off the stage with piano string. I've been killed in all kinds of ways. Because if you're following me and I make you lose three days in a row, I expect you want to see me dead, so I give it to you. However, there is no way I'm going to lose three days in a row because it's only been six videos in seven years. We'll see. I'm going to fight this off. Anyway, so two in a row. Do not, do not, do not count out the Omni. It is a very, very, very consistent machine. The Omni almost never loses three days in a row. You follow those Omni trades coming into Tuesday. Then we've got this. Aunt Yellen to the rescue. So we've got the Green Omni for St. Patty's Day. Chart Masterpiece and Aunt Janet Yellen to the rescue will come bail us out no matter what's going on, most likely, in the markets when she speaks on Wednesday. Then we've got something extremely interesting. It's USA versus Europe. And something I would like to share with you traders, this weekend's Financial Times, right? The Financial Times, if you trade, you should be reading magazines on the weekends like this one, newspapers. And it says, and uh, let me just break out my glasses so I can get this right for you traders who keep calling the damn top. All right, the top's in, the top's in, the top is in. That's what we hear about. So let me help you out here. All right, so I got my glasses on now. I can read this thing. And it says, investors pour a record amounts of, uh, excuse me, investors pour record amounts into European shares in response to QE. You see the headline? Do you know how much? Here's what happened. Exactly these figures. $35.6 billion dollars has gone into Europe, into their securities, at the exact same time, reading the paper now with my glasses, at the exact same time, $33.6 billion has come out of U.S. securities. $33.6 billion out, $35 billion in. Do you not expect to see one market dip just a little and the other one rally past it because one of them loses $33 billion in securities monies while the other gets 35 billion added into it. Yes, it makes perfect sense. The top is not in you lunatics. I'm so tired of hearing the top being called. I've never seen such wrong traders in my life. Now, the last two videos, yes, our day trading was absolutely wrong. We called for an up Omni Friday went down. We called for a down Omni Monday and it went up. But 
In those videos, I was showing you the long-term trade in that we are going to hold here, like we have the past 10 times in a row, like the past 10 times the lunatics came out and said the top was in, and I stood in front of you with my chart masterpiece and said, they don't know how to read charts. Don't listen to these top callers. When the top is in, it'll call itself. And I present you a chart masterpiece, and we've held 10 times. I say we've held the 11th time with the performance we've seen. On Monday, we'll find out. Then there's gold and silver, which is very, very weak at the moment. I will show you those charts. Traders, if you like the charts you're about to see, come on down to LiveWithOscar.com. That's LiveWithOscar.com. Come into my free trading room and allow me to help you understand the markets, how to behave when the markets are open and you're in positions, and, of course, how to analyze those markets to trade what's going forward. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, I'm not going to show you too many charts and bore you to death, but I certainly will show you the ones that need to be looked at on Monday night for Trading Tuesday. And here we are. Dow Jones Transportation Average, a chart masterpiece chart. You've seen this in countless videos and in the past two. And in, on this chart and in the past few videos, I've contended that if the market drops down to the OTAP or the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. It is nothing more than a short-lived dip, and we reach a new high. Short-lived dip, we reach a new high. Short-lived dip, we reach a new high. Short-lived dip, although much bigger than the last few, we reach a much higher high. Short-lived dip, we didn't quite make a new high on this run. Came back down. Now we've rallied up and made a new high, and now here we are. We dip back into Otatma. A new high is likely to be seen. That's the way this chart has worked. The maniacs came out and called the top here, and they called it 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 here, and they're calling it now. Omni says no. I am standing behind Omni. Forget the lunatics. Use the charts. We're not going down yet. There's a lot of reason why we shouldn't. Next. E-mini, S&P, Daily Bar, very same chart you've seen in the last two to three videos. And in the video I've said, usually a dip into my Otatma, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, is very short-lived. So we dip, short-lived. We dip, short-lived. We dip, short-lived. We dip, short-lived. We dipped, and look what it did already. Short-lived, the likelihood is the hold is already in, and we are ready to explode up to new highs. These are the very same charts I've been keeping you in tune with for the past two videos, so you may want to give me a little heat for those quick day trades, but I had my eye on the ball and never lost it the whole time. I never take my eye off the prize. Here we go, next trade. Omniax, now we go out to the weekly chart. We just looked at the dailies. S&P weekly chart, does this chart look familiar? Of course it must to you at this point. Another chart masterpiece, you've seen it in many, many videos, especially in the last few. And once again, note the average, how well it holds. Note that when we get down to it, we rally out, we get down to it, we rally out, down to it, rally out, down, rally out, boom, boom. Way down, rally out, rally out, rally out. We just, just about hit it last week, turned around this week and went up here so far. Last week went this way, turned around now, and is up here. That's likely hold number 10. The likelihood is we get rid of this question mark by tomorrow and turn this into a 10. For now, we'll leave it alone, right? We won't do that yet, but very, very likely that has already held. The average has held once again. And bravo so far for technical analysis, keeping us in tune with the larger picture. Let's move forward. The next Weekly chart I wanted to show you is the Dow Jones Transportation Average. You saw the daily a moment ago. Here's the weekly. Note the black average. Note the, the amount of penetration through the black average almost never. Down just a little, barely through, barely through, barely through it. Once again, once again, barely through it. Even when the massive drop came in other markets, you barely went through that average, barely touched it. Just about went through it and popped right back up, and here we sit right now. That's another hold like this, 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 this. This will be considered another one. These are weeklies now. They look just like the dailies. They're holding really well. And look at how this average runs up the line almost like it's a parallel average to this line up here, which is basically just a parallel channel. This is an amazing, amazing chart you got to love what that looks like for now. 
If it turns around and breaks down, we'll deal with it for now. I've got to call what I see, and what I see is a fantastic hold. Next, here's the chart that goes with the article, traders. Now, here's what I'm trying to explain. The DAX just had $35.6 billion poured into it. The E-mini e S&P just had $33.6 billion taken out of it, given over to the DAX. When that happens, you must understand that you're going to get a little bit of a downdraft in this market while the other one goes up. However, they will both go up together, like you see here and here. That's exactly what's starting to happen now. That is what should happen. QE was passed over to Europe, right? QE went to Europe. Europe will now run with the ball. EU and US will go together. That's the way this works. Wonderful, wonderful looking chart. This is the explanation. It's why I put on those silly glasses. It's very clear to see when you look at it on the chart. Forget about reading the words on that paper. And then we've got this. The gold traders. I've showed you this chart in so many videos now, I cannot count them. We started showing you this chart up here, telling you the top was in officially. Then it came down, and we said, now there's a death knell. Forget about the top coming in at 1680. The death knell comes in at 1450. You've got the, the weekly chart below the 200 bar. And then we started showing you, of course, the pennant that looks a lot like this one. It's not quite a pennant, but it's more of a wedge. Looks a lot like this one. And I showed you bounce one, bounce two. After bounce three, I've got those three arrows, and this dump takes place, right? Well, here we are, bounce one, bounce two, this is bounce three, I've got those three arrows, I expect that dump to start happening just like it did here. This and this are one and the same, you've got to love what you're looking at there. How do we confirm whether the gold looks bearish? Let's look at this wonderful silver chart. Traders, this silver chart, look at it. it, it's a weekly, it has been stuck in this channel for I can't tell you how long. There is no penetrating it on the upside. It keeps coming down. Look at this perfect double top when it came in. It was a perfect textbook example. Then you broke back down. Finally, you get just about to the line. You break back down here. You get to the line. You start to break back down. Very bearish. Very, very bearish looking chart. And this is a system metal to gold. So I'm assuming this helps you understand why the gold chart is as bearish as it looks, just like the silver chart is. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework, never accept anyone's technical opinion without doing your own analysis first. So, traders, you've seen the chart. You've got my technical argument for why we've got the St. Patty's Day Greeny going there on the Green Omni. We love it. We love it. You've seen why Chart Masterpiece should absolutely save us. And you've got Aunt Janet coming. And why would she come out and talk the market down? Doesn't make any sense, right? So she's going to help. Most likely that will be the end result. I showed you the chart with the billions coming out of the U.S. going into Europe. Of course the U.S. will bow down a little while, you, while Europe takes some of that money. Together we will go up. QE will help Europe like it helped the U.S. Together we will climb this ladder. You will see... And that gold and silver, does that silver chart look nasty or what? I mean, the gold looks weak, but that silver, eh, that looks horrible. So there it is, traders. If you like the charts that I present to you in these videos, and if you'd like to learn the analysis and call your own Omni Oscars Market Navigational Indicator, if you'd like to learn how to call that for yourselves, come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come into my free trading room. However, if you'd like to come out here to Vegas and study with me personally for four straight days, you come on down to livewithoscar.com and click the Omni Camp banner. OmniCamp is a four-day training session I hold here live in Vegas with you. I will teach you how to come up with the Omni, how to read the charts, how to prepare yourselves for these markets every day. The next scheduled camp is June 5, 6, 7, and 8. It is a Friday through Monday. Come on down to livewithoscar.com, fill out your OmniCamp applications, and I will call you back. Omni campers, I've got five applications already. I'll start calling you back. I know who you are, and I will start calling you and giving you first opportunities at those seats. All right, traders, I'll see you at LiveAlaska.com. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading.
One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop in tomorrow night's video. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.